welcome to simple and smart learning by tasneem safi and you're watching my channel tasneem's vidyan shastra so today inside the atom in that as you know we have started with general science class 8 and inside the atom in the last session we have covered the introduction part as you know the beginning of atom was done by the acharya kannada the father of atomic theory it is also known as the father of atomic theory he first time postulated about the atom that is and the molecules anu ani parmanu this is how he gave the name and after that the democritus in 1460 to 370 bc democritus he gave a greek philosopher about detail study detail in the sense the beginning of the atom that is the name atom he gave the smallest unit of matter means it is indivisible and how democritus shown the atom from that the story begins and the john dalton he postulated he gave the atomic theory in 1807 he revived and revised the democritus ideas and began developing the modern atomic theory so according to john dalton he proposed the atomic theory in that what he said the study and the structure and the composition of matter so according to this theory matter consists of a very small particles called atom an atom is a hard solid sphere with no internal structure this was his discovery and all the atoms of a given element have identical mass while atoms of different elements have different masses this much atomic theory he gave us after that the study was carried forward by the scientist that is william crookes william crookes in 1879 he investigated the electrical discharge in the gases and with the help of cathode ray tube now he gave us the study about it what it is cathode ray tube so you will say that this is the right side picture in which he has given us how the cathode rays are streams of negatively charged particle so these cathode rays they streams the negatively charged particle that's why they attract towards the positive particle present in that particular material what he used so the john dalton after that the william crook who gave us the cathode ray is negatively charged particle in 1879 this was the great you can say effort and the great beginning that in atom the charges are present and how these charges are present where it is present it helped it very much so after that the j j thompson in 1897 he determined the nature of cathode ray he determined charge to mass ratio of electron and he found that atoms were divisible that dalton and democritus were wrong somehow he gave that ki it may be divisible and according to j j thompson he gave the plum pudding model for the atomic theory where he said the two types of charges are present and these charges that is positive and negative charges are equal in magnitude and the positive charge is fully covered in that particular atom or in that particular inside the structure of the atom and there the negatively charged particles are embedded in it so in this way like a watermelon or plum pudding he plum pudding he gave the example how the watermelon is having so that's all we have seen now this study is not only the contribution of one person this is the chain of scientists who all working on the different different aspects of the atom so after this how the j j thompson has given all this thing but somewhere j j thompson according to him whatever he proposed the theory somehow the charges and how the charges are present in the atom that were not clearly you can say classified or clearly cl clarified is no clarification was proper it is seemed like that so after that in 1909 robert milliken 
came and he determined the charge of electron with the help of oil drop experiment so with thomson charge to mass ratio he able to determine the mass of electron in this way step by step step by step one one single single point were discovered in the atom and then the best you can say experiment or the best structure overall given in 1911 by ernest rutherford ernest rutherford he gave the detailed study of inside the atom by scattering experiment and this experiment in year 1911 he put forth now gold foil experiment disproved plum pudding model which was given by j j thomson small dense central part of the atom that is nucleus and positive charge and negative charge how they are present was given the detailed study by ernest rutherford so let's have and look towards the page 30 from class 8 science that how the rutherford nuclear model of atom was there so this nuclear model of atom here rutherford took a very thin golden foil paper thickness of 10 rest to minus 4 mm the picture you are able to see here in this way he took a very thin yellow color picture are you able to see so this is what the thin golden paper was taken and he bombarded it with the positively charged alpha particles emitted by a radioactive element are you able to see the gray color box lead block containing an alpha particle emitting source how from our tv the cathode rays are passing and because of that then the internally we can see the picture on the front screen how the rays are bombarded here also from the lead block the alpha rays are bombarded alpha particles are that is from the radioactive element and he observed the path of alpha particles by mean of fluorescent screen so here you are able to see the greenish color fluorescent screen on that he experimented it was expected that alpha particles would get reflect from the gold foil what he thought ki might be ye alpha particles yellow golden paper par reflect karke kahi hame uska result mil jayega if positively charged mass were evenly distributed agar positive or negative charge evenly distributed hai atom ke structure ke andar to wo barabar se kaha kaise hai what he thought so according to his experiment the alpha particles get deflected from the original path here you will able to see the beam of red color beam of alpha particle passing through the yellow color golden foil sheet and when the rays are passing the alpha particles deflected at the large angle and some alpha particles they pass through the foil with the little or no deflection some alpha particles deflect at the very small angle so this is how the alpha particles when the rays when bombarded in this way they alpha particles get deflected इस तरह से अलग अलग एंगल पर अलग दिशा में ये रेस डिफ्लेक्ट हो गए यानी किस तरह से ये बाउंस हो गए सो नियर अबाउट यू विल सी सम अल्फा पार्टिकल्स फ्रॉम दैट इट बाउंस्ड रिटर्न बैक वो पूरी तरह से बैक बैक बाउंस हो गए सो व्हाट इट इज दिस दिस इज नथिंग बट वॉट द रूदर फोर डिजाइन द एक्स अल्फा रे स्कैटरिंग एक्सपेरिमेंट टू स्टडी द न्यूक्लियर मॉडल विद दैट द पाथ ऑफ बम्बार्डमेंट अल्फा पार्टिकल वॉज ऑब्जर्व बाई मीन ऑफ फ्लूरोसन पेपर सो वॉट वॉज दिज ऑब्जर्वेशन that most of the fast moving alpha particles passed straight through the golden foil paper without any deflection here you will see the clear picture how the golden foil paper is there the detector that is the fluorescent screen is there beam of alpha particle is passing the radioactive lead box is there in this way how the particles are passed a smaller number of alpha particles were deflected by the foil by small angle while still smaller number of alpha particles were deflected by large angles you are able to see the yellowish color how their a and b rays are there few are deflecting less few are deflecting more so this is how the alpha particles travel through the foil and deflected and some alpha particles are deflected by small angles and in the c picture you will see c arrow 
ओकेजनली अल्फा पार्टिकल ट्रैवल बैक फ्रॉम द फॉइल कुछ अल्फा पार्टिकल्स बैक यानी पूरी तरह से वन आउट ऑफ एवरी ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड पार्टिकल्स में से एक पार्टिकल बाउंस होकर रिटर्न आने लगे तो ये सारा डिफ्लेक्शन देखकर मोस्ट ऑफ द अल्फा पार्टिकल्स वेन दे पास थ्रू द गोल्डन फॉइल पेपर दैट टाइम ही इंडिकेटेड दैट मोस्ट ऑफ द स्पेस इन साइड द एटम वॉज एम टी अगर वो वाटर मेलन की तरफ पूरा भरा होता पॉजिटिव चार्ज तो कोई भी रेस पास नहीं होती थी या वो डिफ्लेक्ट अलग अलग होती थी लेकिन रेस पास एक जगह से दूसरे जगह कब होती है जब कोई एम टी स्पेस होगा सो यू नो दैट A single thing, if you take one ring, and in that ring, if you try to put your finger, so what will happen? The ring from that ring, your finger will pass from one point to other point. That means empty space is there. So this proves that some empty space is present inside the atom. Okay, a very small number of alpha particles were deflected through large angles. मतलब मोर देन 90 डिग्री से ज्यादा भी डिफ्लेक्शन हुआ सो विच इंडिकेटेड दैट द सेंटर वाज समथिंग प्रेजेंट मींस इन द सेंटर यू विल सी हियर द रेडिश कलर डॉट इज देयर आर यू एबल टू सी द रेडिश कलर डॉट सी हियर क्लियरली यू विल एबल टू सी दैट इज इन दैट द टू पिक्चर इज गिवन वन इज गिवन बाय जे जे थॉम्सन दैट इज द कलरफुल पिक्चर एंड वन इज ट्रांसपेरेंट कलर गिवन बाय द रूदर फोर्ट एक्सपेरिमेंट हियर यू विल सी हाउ द एंगल डिफ्लेक्टेड इन द थॉम्सन इट इज ही सेड ऑल आर पासिंग थ्रू इट बट इन रूदर फोर्ट प्रूव क्लियरली सो इन द सेंटर देर इज सम चार्ज एंड प्रेजेंट दैट चार्ज इज नथिंग बट positive charge because alpha particles are positively charged and hence they got deflected by large angle जैसे कि अल्फा पार्टिकल्स पॉजिटिव चार्ज है और वो इसे धड़क कर डिफ्लेक्ट हो गए बाय द पॉजिटिव चार्ज इन द एटम ड्यू टू रिपल्जन सो रिपल्जन की वजह से ये तुरंत ही उससे दूर चले गए डिफ्लेक्शन इफ यू रिमेंबर इन मैग्नेटिक फील्ड आई टोल्ड यू ना हाउ द मैग्नेटिक नीडल डिफ्लेक्ट वेन अपोजिट पोल्स एंड लाइक पोल्स आर देयर यू नो अनलाइक एंड लाइक पोल्स सो सिमिलरली द सेम प्रोसेस इज हियर the alpha particles are positively charged and when they came closer to middle part that is reddish color part ball jaise reddish aapko dikhai de raha hai wo hai middle central part to uske paas aakar ye rays turant hi dur chale gaye क्यों बिकॉज मिडल पार्ट इज ऑल्सो पॉजिटिव एंड अल्फा पार्टिकल्स आर ऑल्सो पॉजिटिव सो पॉजिटिव पॉजिटिव चार्ज रिपेल्स ईच अदर सो रुदर फोर्ट कॉल्ड द पॉजिटिवली चार्ज दैट पर्टिकुलर पार्ट इज नथिंग बट न्यूक्लियस और इस तरह से न्यूक्लियस का पता चला कि बीच में सेंटर में जो वाटर मेलन जैसा रेड पार्ट पूरे एटम में था वो पूरी तरह फैला हुआ नहीं है बल्कि थोड़ा सा छोटा सा पार्ट सेंटर में है सो इन दिस वे द पॉजिटिव पार्ट इज प्रेजेंट इन साइड एंड द स्मॉल नंबर ऑफ अल्फा पार्टिकल्स वॉज डिफ्लेक्टेड और कुछ अल्फा पार्टिकल छोटे छोटे एंगल्स पे डिफ्लेक्ट हो रहे आप देख सकते हो फाइव एरोज उनका शेप सो इट मीन्स दैट हेवी पार्ट दैट कॉस्ट ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन वुड बी एट द सेंटर होल मास ऑफ द एटम इज कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड इन द सेंटर तो एटम का पूरा मास कहाँ कॉन्सेंट्रेट होता है सेंटर में कॉन्सेंट्रेट होता है सो दिस इज हाउ द साइड पार्टिकल्स यू आर सींग द ब्लूइश कलर डॉट्स और ब्लूइश कलर बॉल्स आर नथिंग बट द निगेटिवली चार्ज पार्टिकल्स क्योंकि ये जो अल्फा पार्टिकल्स पॉजिटिव है वो इस निगेटिव चार्ज से पास होकर निकल गए यू नो दैट अपोजिट पोल्स अट्रैक्ट ईच अदर इन दिस वे पॉजिटिव एंड निगेटिव चार्ज इज प्रेजेंट एंड हाउ इट इज प्रेजेंट वॉज क्लियरली प्रूव्ड बाय रूदर फोर्ड एंड ही गेव दिस न्यूक्लियर एटॉमिक मॉडल सो आई होप यू गॉट द क्लियर आइडिया दैट इन साइड द एटम in the center positive charge is present in the form of nucleus and surrounding to that nucleus the negative charge particles are present so almost the entire mass of the atom is concentrated in the nucleus the positively charged center in an atom called nucleus and the negatively charged particles called electrons 
इलेक्ट्रॉन्स विच रिवॉल्व अराउंड द न्यूक्लियस और ये भी प्रूव हो गया कि ये इलेक्ट्रॉन न्यूक्लियस के अराउंड में ये ऐसे राउंड में मूव करते हैं मीन्स इट इज मूविंग अराउंड द न्यूक्लियस इन दिस वे द टोटल निगेटिव चार्ज ऑन इलेक्ट्रॉन इज इक्वल इन मैग्नीट्यूड मैग्नीट्यूड मीन्स न्यूमेरिक सो यू विल सी द नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स निगेटिव चार्ज इज इक्वल टू द नंबर ऑफ पॉजिटिव चार्ज सो ग्रीन एंड रेड दैट इज निगेटिव एंड पॉजिटिव चार्ज आर इक्वल and as the opposite charges are balanced the atom is electrically neutral kyunki negative aur positive charge dono bhi balancing mein hai dono equal hai to atom ban jata hai electrically neutral isi tarah se atom hota hai electrically neutral this is the most important reason why the atom is electrically neutral because the positive charge and negative charge present inside the atom is equal the magnitude of the charge is equal so there is an empty space between the atomic nucleus ye hi nahi to ye bhi pataya gaya ki empty space hai jaise ki red and green color beside that you will see the white color empty space is also present and this empty space is nothing but the electrons are revolving around the nucleus so this is how the simple you will see the structure of atom which was clear picture given by scientist ernest rutherford so this is how rutherford said that the middle part nucleus positive charge and surrounding negative charge electrons moving in a orbit so this is how the simple concept of rutherford but you know Everything is having limitations. जैसे डेल्टन के लिए लिमिटेशंस था जे जे थॉम्सन के लिए था सो रुदर फोर्ट इट इज ऑल्सो हैविंग सम लिमिटेशंस सो रुदर फोर्ट्स एटोमिक मॉडल कुड नॉट एक्सप्लेन द स्टेबिलिटी ऑफ एटम जब ये इलेक्ट्रॉन्स मूव हो रहे हैं और न्यूक्लियस में पॉजिटिव चार्ज है लेकिन क्या ये एटम स्टेबल है is this atom is stable how it is present what exactly the electron numbering and all presentation according to him he was little bit unable to prove so according to this math atom consist of positively charged nucleus in the center and electrons revolve this revolution of electron is not expected matlab ye stability nahi bata raha tha ki kis tarah se ye stable hai so any particle in circular orbit would lose energy jo ye move hota hai to zahir hai energy lose hoti hai so if this were the atom would be highly unstable agar ye moving hone wale particles continuous energy लूज करेंगे तो ये स्टेबल कैसे रहेंगे सो दिस पर्टिकुलर एटम वुड बी हाईली अनस्टेबल एंड मैटर वुड नॉट एग्जिस्ट और अगर कोई एलिमेंट कोई एटम अनस्टेबल है तो वो मैटर कैसा रहेगा वो मैटर तो स्टेबल वो मैटर दुनिया में रह ही नहीं सकता सो मैटर वुड नॉट एग्जिस्ट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ दैट वी नो जैसे हमें मैटर पता है वैसे वो एग्जिस्ट नहीं हो पाता सो इन दिस वे हाउ द रूदर फोर्ट सम हाउ his limitations his proof whatever he gave were again required some more clarification so before that let's have and use your brain power few questionaries related to this particular topic so many more questions are there that we will see but according to textbook now here few questionaries are there so which discovery did point out that an atom has internal structure naturally the discovery of electrons by j j thompson pointed out that an atom has an internal structure because as you know dalton has proved there is a spherical ball hard shape indivisible substance itna hi kaha tha but j j thompson proved ki something is present inside after that second question what is the difference between the solid atom in dalton's atomic theory and thomson's atomic model so according to dalton atomic theory atom is a hard just now i told you the same answer is there it is a solid sphere with no internal structure and atom is indivisible indestructible similarly according to thomson atomic model an atom 
consists of negatively charged particles called the electrons which are embedded in the positively charged sphere this was the answer what we are expecting now third question explain the difference between the distribution of positive charge in thomson atomic model and rutherford's atomic model so you know that according to thomson atomic model the positive charge is distributed throughout the atom like sphere of pudding or a watermelon you have seen now how the watermelon in that red color is spreaded all over and black color seeds are there the same picture what thomson gave but whereas according to rutherford atomic model an atom consists of a positively charged nucleus and which is present at the center of the atom and the negative charge is moving around the nucleus so this was the difference between thomson and rutherford now what is the point difference between the place of electron in the atomic model thomson or rutherford ke hisab se electron kaha aur kaise hote hai ye difference so just now i told you the same in thomson atomic model negative charge electrons are embedded like the seeds of watermelon and the red color pulp pulp positively charged sphere of the atom while rutherford atomic model electrons revolve around the positively charged nucleus which is present in the center of the atom the answer is same so now next what is the thing which is present in rutherford's atomic model and not present in dalton and thomson atomic model to aisi kaun si cheez hai jo rutherford ke model mein hai lekin thomson aur jj sorry thomson and dalton ke atomic model mein nahi hai so this is what nucleus at the center of the atom is present in rutherford's atomic model but absent in dalton and jj thomson so this is what the simple questioner is now moving ahead same on page number 13 that is one more scientist bohr's stable orbit atomic model in 1930 so here what the limitation of rutherford was there rutherford mein kuch limitations the na ki wahan pe stability ka kya what about there was no any explanation of stability of the atom this was later on clearly proved by or postulated by bohr's model of atom and he explained with neat and label diagram about it so in the year 1930 danish scientist neil bohr he explained the stability of atom by putting forth stable orbit atomic model so he gave the stability of electrons and all the model so important postulates of bohr atomic model was in some points what he said according to him that we are going to see so the electrons revolving around the atomic nucleus lie in the concentric circular orbit what he says ki nucleus which is present at the center electrons are revolving around it at certain distance from the nucleus nucleus se thodi duri par electron circular orbit orbit mein move hote hai okay then again what he said energy of an electron is constant while it is in a particular orbit jab ye orbit mein hote hain unki electron ki energy constant hoti hai and when an electron jumps from one and inner orbit to outer orbit it absorbs energy equal to the difference of its energy level and when it jumps from an outer orbit to inner orbit it emits energy to ye sabse badi baat hame neil bohr ne batayi ki jab electron andar wali orbit se bahar orbit ki taraf aate hai see electron jump from an inner orbit to outer orbit it absorbs energy okay and when it jumps from outer orbit to inner orbit it emits energy in this way when electrons are moving from inside and outside in the similar orbit that time they absorb and they emits the energy 
equal to the difference of his energy level this is the most important part what the neil bohr gave us and this how according to his it is a new rise for the stability is tarah se thode thode points se stability prove hone lagi so before that let's have and one detail or you can say a important fact related to page number 31 do you know so here one simple do you know given that when table salt that you know sodium chloride is thrown on lpg gas stove that time you will see immediately the yellow color spark as a chir chir thodi si awaz aakar yellow spark nikalta hai क्यों इफ सोडियम मेटल पुट इन द वाटर व्हाट हैपन्स इट बर्न्स टू गिव येलो फ्लेम आप देख सकते हो कि येलो कलर की फ्लेम बिकॉज दे आर हाईली रिएक्टिव एंड सोडियम दैट्स वाई इट इज़ नॉट केप्ट आउटसाइड उसे हमेशा केरोसिन में रखा जाता है अगर ये बाहर आप पानी में डालोगे immediately it start reacting on road also you will see the sodium vapor lamp gives yellow color light okay so from all above example the electron of sodium absorb energy this is why do you know given here ki ye beech mein kyu diya gaya because what is the absorption of energy and emission of energy so this is the best example and it goes to outermost shell and come back to inner shell so by emitting energy in this way they change the position so difference of energy level of these two shells of sodium is fixed so this difference is similar to energy of yellow light so this is how the example so let's have and one video related to this particular experiment see the sodium metal is placed in the water how immediate reaction it gives yellow color flame and it may burst this is very dangerous so never try at home never don't at all try this experiment at home it is only done under the observation of the experts only this is video only to show you how dangerous it is when you put in the water when it comes in contact with the water see still continuous there is a sparks coming out the sodium when it comes in contact with the water so this is how the simple reaction which i want to show you related to the sodium so this is how the different different examples gives us the emission of energy and absorption of energy so according to this now neil bohr again he further with the help of atomic model he put forth the bohr's atomic model an atomic structure was studied at the depth with the advent of a new branch of science called quantum mechanism quantum theory ke hisab se ye structure banaya gaya ye model banaya gaya and अब तो पता नहीं चलेगा कि कितने इलेक्ट्रॉन्स कौन से ऑर्बिट में है ये तो जानना जरूरी है स्टेबिलिटी ये इससे पता चलेगा सो फॉर दैट ईच एलिमेंट नाउ यू नो देर आर नियर अबाउट 118 एलिमेंट 118 एलिमेंट मतलब उनमें इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एक थोड़ी ना होंगे कई सारे होंगे तो ये इलेक्ट्रॉन्स किस तरह से होते हैं उनकी पोजिशन क्या ऑल दिस थिंग्स वॉज given with the help of quantum theory so with all those some will expect fundamental principles of atomic structure as follows so here you will see the detail about the bohr's atomic model in this model you will see the simple in the middle plus it shows that is the positively charged nucleus and the electrons which is present in the orbit in this picture four orbital are given these are the four orbits the first orbit green color which is named k shell it is also called as an shell orbit ko shell bhi keh sakte hai then second orbit l shell third orbit m shell and fourth orbit n shell is tarah se ye shells ka distribution kiya jata hai according to this here you will see in the middle that is the positive charge is present and the green color which is still not gave the detail study ki what it is exactly and along with that you will see the positively charged particles is embedded inside means it is at the center of the atom 
and surrounding the orbit negative charge which is orbiting which is present these are nothing but the electrons present in the orbit and they all are having one specific counting so according to this counting now the number of shell will decide how many electrons is present in that orbit so the middle part nucleus the first orbit is having the maximum capacity to hold the electron is 2 according to quantum theory first shell mein sirf do electron maximum reh sakte hai do electron se zyada is shell mein attend nahi kar payenge so automatically third electron agar element mein hai to wo third electron apne aap hi dusre orbit mein chala jayega in this way the second orbit will form now from 1 to 8 is the capacity of electrons in second shell first shell mein ek electron reh sakta hai do reh sakte hai lekin teen nahi ab ban jata hai second shell second orbit so second orbit capacity is 8 electrons maximum 8 electrons 8 electrons se agar zyada electrons aap rakhna means agar hote hai to wo khud ba khud apna position change karke third electron third orbit mein chale jate hai so in second orbit 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 electrons reh sakte hai 8 bhi reh sakte hai but 9 no now after 8 the ninth wala electron will automatically shift towards the third orbit in this way the different different shell is having the different atomic structure and position of the electron so this is how the electrons are present in the orbits you will see this is the picture how of the silicon and in this the middle part in that the positive charge is present and surrounding the negatively charged electrons are moving so this is how the simple structure of the electrons and the inside the atom i hope you got the clear idea related to the ernest rutherford model and bohr's stable orbit atomic model in this way he shows the stability of the model ki ye kis tarah se stable reh sakte hai because each electron got the specific place in the orbit and because of that now it may have its stability so this is how the simple explanation related to textbook 30 and 31 i hope you got the clear idea related to the inside the atom and the somehow internal structure of atom there are few more points many inventions are there about the nucleus and one more particle present inside the positive charge what is that how the proton नेम केम फॉर द पॉजिटिव चार्ज कैसे किसने नाम रखा प्रोटॉन और दूसरे कोई और चार्जेस है या नहीं है ऑल डिटेल्स विल कम ऑन द नेक्स्ट सेशन आई होप यू गॉट द क्लियर आइडिया रिगार्डिंग इट इफ यू लाइक इट प्लीज विजिट माई चैनल लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब इट एंड टिल देन वॉट एवर द क्वेरीज आर देयर यू कमेंट मी ऑन माई कमेंट बॉक्स हैव अ नाइस टाइम जय हिंद